Backpacking TV is brought to you by MSR. Precision engineering, legendary reliability, inspired by unruly dreamers. Visit us at msrgear.com. For those new to backpacking, cooking in the backcountry can seem a little intimidating at first. And so, in this episode, we're going to try to simplify things for you. But there's good news. Everything tastes better when you're camping. And so you don't need to be a chef to enjoy a good meal in the backcountry. The standard when it comes to backcountry cooking is simply using a pre-packaged dehydrated backpacker meal, which usually just involves boiling water. These meals are awesome for backpacking because they're fast and simple to prepare. They're also extremely light to carry and require minimal cookware. You can even eat the meal right out of the bag, which makes cleanup super easy. If I only need to boil water because I'm eating pre-packaged meals on a trip, I like to use my MSR wind boiler stove, which is designed to boil water quick in any weather conditions. The wind boiler is a really great system because it's super lightweight and compact, and everything packs up into itself, so the only other thing I need is a bowl and a spoon. Although there are a lot of tasty dehydrated backpacker meals on the market, Sometimes I like to dehydrate my own food to make meals, or sometimes I'll carry the extra weight and bring a few fresh ingredients into the backcountry to cook one of my own creations. With just a little bit of experience, dishes like pad thai or fajitas are actually really easy to make at camp, and it's really satisfying to eat one of your own creations in the backcountry. If you want to put just a little bit more effort into making your camp meals a little bit more exciting, there are some really great camp recipe books out there that are worth checking out. If I'm cooking one of my own creations, I like to bring a cook system that gives me a little bit more flexibility. A great system is MSR's Whisperlite International Stove. When it comes to serving sizes and portions, something that I've noticed is that a hungry hiker typically eats about 1.5 times a regular serving size, so make sure you that you count for that when you're planning your meals. And so if a dehydrated meal says it serves one, you might want to have a little extra food on hand to keep you satisfied. When it comes to the amount of fuel that you'll need, if you're only going to be boiling water, you can expect to go through around one ounce of fuel per meal. For meals that involve cooking vegetables and sauces, you can expect to use about twice as much, but this does depend on weather conditions and wind. A simple way to maximize your stove's fuel efficiency is to use a heat reflector and a windscreen wrapped around it. When it comes to doing dirty dishes, if all you did was add boiling water to a bag of dehydrated food, well, you don't have any dishes to do. But if you did happen to make some dishes that you need to clean up, here's a really helpful tip, use dirt. While it sounds counterintuitive, dirt is actually a great cleaning agent. It absorbs the oils of your plates and bowls, and it's great for scrubbing your pots and pans clean. Now, don't use dirt on Teflon surfaces because it's an abrasive and it will actually wreck it, but this is a perfect way to clean up titanium, aluminum, or plastic cookware. Just remember that the dirt you use will be scented with food particles, and so you want to make sure that you bury that dirt in a 6-8 to eight inch hole, which is called a sum. For more information about backcountry cooking and how to plan for a 5-day backpacking trip, make sure you check out our other video. Otherwise, I hope you like what you saw. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more information coming your way.